What is going on, my Cardano friends? It's your friend Jack here. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Sunday Swap ISO initial stake offering, how to vote in the ISO, and also I'm going to be covering how to actually earn rewards from the ISO. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. First things first, if you don't know what Sunday Swap is, this is a Cardano DEX and they are releasing 5% of their total token allocation to the ISO model, meaning that anyone delegating with the pools that will be voted in in the next five days here, those 30 pools will be eligible for any delegators with them to claim Sunday token rewards. Now, today we're gonna to show you how to vote for which pools get elected out of the few hundred pools that have applied and the top 30 will be going on to actually offer those Sunday token rewards. Then there'll be a 10 pool wait list in case any of those 30 pools don't actually qualify. So let's get into it and let's get to the voting. First things first, we're gonna be using NAMI wallet for this. You can use other wallets just fine. They will work, but your process will be slightly different than the one you see on this video. If you have your Roy or Daedalus or whatever else, just follow the steps on screen and you're gonna be able to essentially copy the address, paste the amount of ADA you want to. The address is probably gonna be your own address, however, and then you're probably going to do the same thing, submit a transaction ID with the other address. So it might be a bit different, but follow the experience or follow over here on their website and you'll be able to get going. No problem. I'm pretty sure about that. Now, NAMI Wallet, if you're using NAMI Wallet, you only need a few ADA to vote anyways. So I'd recommend the easiest way to go is to just make a NAMI Wallet. I'll leave a link down in the description and then send yourself two, three ADA and you can vote using that wallet instead. It's easier and it will save you a little bit of time and hassle most likely. So let's get into it. Let's get into the vote. As I mentioned, uh, this vote ends in five days at the end of next epoch, uh, which is epoch 303. Now we're going to be covering how to vote for it. And as I mentioned, we're using NAMI wallet. So the first thing you're going to do if you have NAMI wallet, when you come to this vote page, it's going to access or ask for access to your wallet. You're just going to allow it and now they can see your public wallet. So they can see your balance and they can see everything in your wallet. They can't do transactions for you. You're still gonna have to type in your password, so don't worry too much about that. But now you get to cast two votes. Your first vote will be the main vote, and then your second vote's kind of a backup in case your first vote is not in the kind of top uh, section of pools, then that vote gets supplemented. So. Honestly, I would put your first vote as the vote you want most to go through and your second vote as the vote you also would want to go through, but not as much as the first vote. That being said, all you have to do here is pick two pools on the list. So I'm going to pick my own pool and then you can also go over here and type a second vote. Now to type the second vote in, you, I don't know if you know what pool you want to put in. You can put in my pool. You don't have to do that. Vote for who you want to vote for. Um, but whatever pool actually gets voted in is going to be the one that offers those rewards in Sunday tokens. So just know that you could vote for the pool you're currently in if they're on the list. But yeah, you can just look for pools here. You could also vote for a pool that you're currently in and you want them on the list. So you don't have to change pools. You could do that too. Or you can support my pool, support someone else's. My second vote's going to go to PSB, Fasolabite, really good person. And I'm just going to add them as my vote. And then after you've done that, you can go down here and you're going to see that you have a vote caster. And all you have to do is either connect with NAMI wallet, click this button, um, and you're also going to, or you can vote with a different wallet. And all you're going to be asked to do is send this amount of ADA to yourself. So it's pretty simple. S copy this amount and then paste it and send it to your own address within that wallet. So it's an inside wallet transaction. You'll copy a wallet address from your own wallet and then you'll paste it into the sending and you'll send yourself ADA. It really won't cost you anything. Uh, but for our purposes, we're going to be using NAMI wallet. So it pretty much just does it for us. Um, we just have to do this, click NAMI and you're going to see up here it's connected and then we can click this vote with NAMI and it's very simple. It doesn't take much time. It builds a transaction for us and we don't have to do only this copy and pasting. As you can see, it's an inside wallet transaction. So really it only costs the network fees. At the end of the day, this is what it's going to cost you. If you're using another wallet, go ahead and sign it, uh, whatever your password may be. 
and then bam. Um, I had an error. We're going to retry and then just keep going until you can get it through. So this is a pretty good example. I have an error and the problem most likely, which I'm about to fix right now, is that I have too many UTXOs in my wallet, meaning I have too much ADA making up my balance that it's trying to send this transaction from to kind of perform this functionality with NAMI wallet. The easy solution would be to just use a different wallet that has very little UTXOs in it or just do the copy and paste strategy. But for now, we are going to just close this. I'm going to transfer to a different wallet and I'm going to vote using a different wallet with a much smaller balance and less tokens and UTXOs making up said balance. Another simple way to do this is just to create a new account and then send about three ADA to that new account with NAMI and then go ahead with this process. But for our purposes, I'm just going to switch wallets and we're going to vote and try this again. So as you can see, I used a wallet with much less things in it, more of a fresh wallet, and it was able to vote for Jack and PSB very simply. So if you have that problem on NAMI, that's the fix. You just change to a new fresh wallet. Otherwise, go ahead and use one of the other wallets to copy and paste that amount and then send it back to your own address. So pretty simple pretty basic on the other wallets you might have to submit your transaction ID if you want to get that all you have to do is go up into your transaction log whatever wallet you're on go to the history and then you're basically just going to find wherever it is and you're going to copy it right here so here's the ID you just copy that number uh, but we didn't have to do that because we use NAMI wallet but we voted and that's it that's really all you need to know for the voting side of things if you want to earn Sunday tokens when you're staking with pools, it's pretty simple as well. All you are going to have to do is once this vote ends, find the 30 pools that were elected to basically receive the rewards for the delegates and then stake with one of those pools to earn your own Sunday rewards on top of the pools rewards. So pretty simple. If you don't know how to stake your Cardano at all, I have a video linked down in the description as well how to stake Cardano and everything you need to know. So check that video out and then you'll just be able to come to Sunday Swap's website. They will have the links of which pools are eligible and then stake with one of those. One last thing to mention is that if you wish to change your vote at any point in time, you can before the four days is up if you want to. All you have to do is go over here and repeat the process with the same wallet that you used previously and you'll be able to change your vote as simple as that. Repeat the process, change your votes, submit the transaction, so on and so forth, and do it before the four days is up and you can alter which people you've picked for the vote. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.